got something exciting to show you guys. doing today good, good let's check it out all right let me show you a couple things is on this uh, new revolution grandstand here I'm gonna turn it on so that we can see the uh, display screen this thing is super adjustable um, you can change a lot of aspects of it so here I'm gonna go over and show you that um, first off you can see when the machines running what load each spindle is under so that's pretty important if you're in a real heavy condition and you wanted to um, change the RPMs on the spindle, you could. Right now we have it set at full speed on each of them and I'm gonna show you that. Um, I guess first we'll start with traction speed. You can see that it's all the way on full speed. If we wanted to um, step it down, we could. If for some reason we had a, someone on this machine that we didn't wanna let them have you know, control of full speed, we could do that. Here is the spindle speed. You can see that it's jacked all the way up at full speed to give us the best quality of cut. And again, we could turn that down. Now, why would we want to turn it down? Well, hey, if we want to save some battery life and we don't really need that, we're not on a class A property where we need to have um, the most perfect cut that we can have, we could slow the, the spindle speed down a little bit and gain some more battery runtime. So real simple stuff. Um, a lot of diagnostics are, are in here as well, um, things that the average user may not need to use, but a technician that was um, servicing it would want to see. So pretty easy stuff. Thanks, man. So I have to say there's a lot of interesting things about the new Grandstand Revolution. Um, I always focus my videos on what's important to me in hopes that it might be important to you or anyone that's, that's watching. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's what works for you and your business, right? So for me, I'm gonna talk about that. I'm not gonna go over all the features. You know, I bring on, uh, you know, sales reps and, and other folks that are more knowledgeable about this product, uh, about the product that I'm featuring in any of my videos, specifically Toro mowers. You know, I get them on my videos so that they can talk about some of those highlights. And my goal is to use it in real world applications for my business and see what, you know, how it works for my business and then just share that with you guys in the event that it might sound or might ring a bell or be similar for you. So let's just check out some things here. I really like some of the new things that they have here, that nice grandstand plate there. This is the Turbo Force 52 inch. Just like this Turbo Force 52 inch. Can't see it anymore. That sticker's long gone. This bad boy's got uh, 700, 765 hours. Can't see it, whatever. 765 hours on this bad boy here. Um, I've had it for a couple years now. This is our main mower, but I still have a bunch of other, uh, not a bunch, I have other backup mowers. I've got my original grandstand from 2016 it's now 2022 at the time of film, uh, recording this video so that grandstands a 48 inch got a mulch kit on it typically and it uh has well over 2,000 hours now approaching i think 2,500 hours so that's kind of the backup secondary mower and that's why i got this to extend the life of that one so that i can use this one as the main mower and plus i got the multi-force because i wanted to i wanted to utilize this to its full capacity we've got lots of attachments and so on that we use throughout the year but that's we've, i've made videos about that kind of stuff already podcasts all that that's all that's not what this video is about just saying this is my 52 inch multi-force thing's a beast it's a gasser it is what it is right but we're talking about this and i compared the two a little bit so they both cut really well they both cut identical 
Uh, they both have the same Turbo Force deck. To be honest, the controls are a little bit different, right? There's no belts on this. So, I mean, you know, if you know, you know, it's just gonna feel different than this. But that you can get used to. That's just operator usage there. You just gotta learn how to use it. The thing that you have to, that trips me out the most to get used to is the fact that it doesn't sound like you're doing anything. You know, like it doesn't, like right now it's on and you have no idea like it, it's just on there's nothing going on like literally from right now from right here you can just cut the blades on obviously you have to have you know these handles down all that you cut the blades on and then it just starts working versus that it has to be on and you can hear it running regardless of what idle you have it on low idle or full throttle you know uh low throttle or full throttle whatever it's it's going to be some sort of noise some sort of rumble that gas right that gasser this literally this is what you get this until you start moving and then it starts making a little bit of sound sounds like a you know like a tesla or something like an electric battery powered vehicle and then when you cut the blades on it gets a little bit louder and it's a little bit of a different sound but it's 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 uh, still something that it, it's kind of trippy to your brain to think is this even cutting and you look and you see the grass shooting out the side and you see the stripes behind you and you're like yeah it's cutting so that's an interesting thing to get over the controls are the controls it's going to be different like i said but you can get used to that what 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 for me is harder to get used to is the fact that it doesn't sound like anything it doesn't sound like you're cutting anything it doesn't sound like it's working properly but it is it's a beast it cuts through anything and everything that i've used it for so far um you can see there's been some usage going on here i didn't just splatter some mud on here i mean you you know you, you see uh you, you saw it in action several prior videos this video and so on so um we put we put some work in on this bad boy but a lot of very similar things height uh, deck height adjustment all that kind of stuff very similar you got the rake here uh this adjusts the pitch so normally a quarter of an inch is your typical pitch from front to back a slight angle there to give you the best cut nice stripes but you can go all the way up to one and a quarter by lifting this up and adjusting the pin and now the height's different and what that does is if you have a mulch kit on on the deck then that's going to help some let some of the clippings kind of escape through the back here which is going to alleviate some of the load on the blades which is going to conserve some more battery power to get you longer throughout the day like if you have bigger commercial properties not the well manicured residential properties where you probably wouldn't want to do this you know you want it to be a nice clean cut either side discharge or if you're using the mulch you want it to be 100 percent mulch and not have anything you know sneaking out the back like that but if you have a commercial property it doesn't have it doesn't matter as much and if you have more area to cover and you want the battery to last longer then you can do that so they've kind of factored some of those things in there to get the most out of this mower um, but you can still, this is still real world practical for your uh, residential properties. So right off the bat, something fun, right? Not mandatory, but hey, who doesn't, who doesn't need their cell phone and who doesn't run out of battery, right? Have to plug it in, leave it in the truck. But this is pretty interesting. You can, there's a port here for two spots to plug in your phone. There's this padded thing here with a little bungee to keep your phone in in place and when you have the power on your phone starts charging so while you're mowing you could be charging all right this is better you can see now in the trailer for some reason the lighting wasn't working out but you can see this is the main screen you can make some adjustments here like we've shown before to check out your blade speed and load traction speed blade speed all that stuff but right now we're parking brake is on we're in neutral and there's three bars out of ten bars left so actually when you turn this on it it tells you where you're at before this even happens so you turn it on flashes battery three but two right so it's flashing so it's probably means it's gonna be heading on to two bars pretty soon so pretty nifty couple other neat things you got your light switch here so there's already lights built in and actually 
almost see the difference right there. That's how bright it is. So, again, how often are you going to use that, right? None of us mow in the dark. No, of course not. We never do that. Here's where you charge it at night. Just lift this up and plug it in. Comes with its own unit. You'll see that in this video. And the charger gets plugged into an outlet and then you plug the charger cable into that, which then charges the batteries. So you plugged it in overnight and you're good to go the next day. So I've figured out there's 10 bars of battery on here. I can get three yards out of one bar. So three times 10 bars, that's 30 yards. So I can get 30 yards approximately, which means this thing lasts me longer than, than a day. So it's taken me days to deplete the battery down so enough for me to plug it in and charge it and see how that all works and show it to you guys. That's why it's at three bars right now. I'm just gonna charge it, you know, I'm not gonna get it all the way down to the bottom, but there is a, a, a fail safe. When it gets down to 10% battery, it kind of goes in limp mode. That's not what it's called. I didn't look up the manual to see exactly what it's called, but uh, it's to, uh, it cuts off the blades so that you can still get back to your trailer uh, so that you're not stranded in the middle of the yard or a yard or a property or something so that's convenient to have that so i'm at three bars still plenty of of time for that still plenty of yards that i could could get done technically that's six more yards because i probably wouldn't want to do much with one bar i don't know what that 10 percent looks like but when you get to one bar you probably don't want to mess around too much with it you probably want to charge it so i have two more bars left that's like six more yards so i typically do 15 to 20 yards a day depending on the neighborhood and how tight the route density is which is pretty dense on uh, most days of the week so on the days that we can get 20 done this gets it done perfectly fine and these are around 10,000 square foot yards some are like up to 12,000 some are down to 8,000 so on average though these yards that i'm taking care of are about 10,000 square foot nice regular tall fescue nothing too thick you know we're not double uh we're not um going bi-weekly or anything like that these are weekly well manicured tall fescue yards and i can get you know 30 technically done in a day if, if it's taking me three yards per bar so just to put that in perspective for you guys that means it does last they're saying seven plus hours of runtime that's more than enough for me and anyone else with my type of properties, my cookie cutter, right, HOA, homeowner association properties, um, it works fine. Another couple of quick things, or maybe one more quick thing to point out here that no one is talking about for some reason is this Horizon technology. What is this? Horizon technology. This is on a lot of their newer mowers. I saw it on the uh, 96 inch mower with the fold up deck that I have a, a very popular video on my Toro playlist that you can check out about it. But Horizon Technology, this has been a, a growing um, technology that, that they have had, that Toro has had. Um, and, and they just keep growing and growing. And what that is, is it's a whole tech, technology system built into the mower that gives you all kinds of functionality, diagnostics, obviously this screen here for you to check out all these different things and change settings on the mower very quickly and easily and so on. But it also means that it connects to Horizon 360, which Horizon 360 is a software, a CRM, uh, customer relations management software for, uh, you know, for us, for lawn and landscape professionals that Toro offers. You can invoice and you can send out invoices and estimates. You can contact your clients, have your whole client list, take payments, um, routing, you know, the jobs, all kinds of stuff, scheduling stuff. And with it, with all that, it's connected to this Horizon technology. So what that means is when you have Horizon 360 and you have these mowers that already have Horizon 360, otherwise, if you don't have these mowers, you have to get uh, things that you like accessories that you can attach to your mowers and all and your uh, that you have but if you already have the horizon technology you have you don't have to worry about all the stuff that uh, you don't have to worry about attaching an accessory or anything it automatically will be connected to your horizon 360 um, software and it will tell you different diagnostics you know like if things uh, aren't working right on here you know how long it's been running where it's been all these kind of things 
how many faults and errors and all that, which if you're not the one using this, that gives you some information on the, the users, you know, your guys, girls, who are, you know, your team that's using this mower, you can get some information on that. Plus, what I think is the biggest thing, why I really am, uh, why I really, what really attracts me to Horizon 360 the most is that when you have this whole system in place, whether it be the technology already built into the mower like this one, or the accessories that you put on your mower so that it does uh, connect to Horizon 360, what happens is no longer do you have to start and stop jobs or anything like that. You literally, as soon as this mower goes onto your property that's, that's geofenced or whatever, it automatically starts your time. And then as soon as you get off of that yard, it automatically stops the time. So that makes it super easy to not have to forget. I mean, how many times have you guys that use other softwares, myself included, or your team forget to start and stop jobs now you're not getting the most accurate time on and off jobs to calculate your proper man hours to make sure you're being profitable and see if you have to raise your prices and so on make adjustments accordingly maybe you have to be more efficient less guys more guys whatever uh have conversations about how to be better and so on now you don't have to worry about like well they're not starting and stopping jobs so we're not getting the right data this does it automatically it's 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 no there's no error necessary there's no user error does it doesn't depend on someone remembering to hit start or stop it automatically starts itself and stops itself with the horizon uh, technology so i think that's a game changer just that alone so i'm not saying that this is going to be for everybody but it's definitely a possibility i mean just think of the fact that there's zero maintenance no belts to change no oil to change no gas issues you know gas starts wearing things up up you know down and you have to replace parts and the engine's going to go bad eventually the the, the time that ha the, the amount of time that you're going to have this at this last you're going to probably go through two to three different mower engines before this one even starts falling apart you know before the batteries or whatever stop you know working properly i mean this thing is is an investment you're not going to expect to have to replace this anytime soon if at all you're just going to maybe add to it right you get that $7,500 tax credit from the government so that reduces the cost immediately right out the gate and then it becomes an accumulative savings over time week after week month after month year after year of no gas and dealing with all the inflation costs of all that no maintenance no replacing parts constantly or any of that stuff, spark plugs, whatever, all these little things that add up. And if you actually knew your numbers and you sat down and you looked at all that stuff, well, then you would know. If you know, you know. All these things add up and they're, they're not negligible things. So if it would make sense for you, then it would make sense. I do want to keep it real and I'm not sure why this is, but I think it's a valid point something again that no one probably has noticed or will say or has said about anyway but i noticed that this mower cuts like a dream but for some reason it only discharges out to about here it only goes one and a half to two passes out where when we're all those of us that know we know you when you're used to the regular the gasser turbo force deck this is shooting all the way out to here you know two and a half to three passes out what does that mean well again if you know you know but for those of you that don't know and maybe you're brand new what does that mean that means you're able to disperse the grass especially when you're getting into tall and thick stuff it's alleviating you having to double cut i find myself having to go back over some spots and double cutting a little bit with this when i got into some of that thick tall fescue it's here in october now fall in uh central virginia the grass is thick and growing tall and fast it's wet all that stuff aerating and seeding the grass starts popping off fertilizing all that so this dis disperses that a lot better and easier so it's spread out all over the yard back and forth as you go up and down changing directions where you don't have to go over it again as much as i feel like you would with this because it's just coming right right out here it disperses it you know there's no clumping or clogging it's great you know the deck still does what it's supposed to do but for some reason it just doesn't throw it out further and people will be like, oh well, that's because of the horsepower what, what even is the horsepower whatever like it's not the same engine it's not the same deal but it's powerful enough to cut through the same grass that can cut through and i'll tell you what i've cut 
I literally cut the same yard with both of these, did one section with this, and you could hear, you know, the, the, the engines, like, you could, you could hear that you're cutting thick grass, if that makes sense. It wasn't bogging down necessarily, but you could hear that you're like, brrr, like plowing through thick grass, but it's spreading it out real nice. This, like it doesn't even change the sound, doesn't even change a beat. You just go through the same exact grass, boom, and it just spreads it out just right here instead of throwing it way out there. So some interesting things there. Not sure what that's about or if that even needs to be changed or if it even really matters that much. This isn't meant for like the crazy thick tall yards. It's meant for you to use it on those well-maintained residential yards, those municipalities that have a lot of rules and regulations. You know, maybe they don't want gas and you've been using propane all this time. Well, now you can switch to this. You can start earlier in the morning and not worry about being loud and all that stuff. So lot, lots of benefits to this. Honestly, the only con really is that it's so expensive, right? It's so expensive. Yes, it's more expensive than that because you're getting more for this than that. You're getting longevity out of this. You're getting all these different bells and whistles that are normally add-ons to this. Uh, you know, you're, you're, all the other things that I said, environmentally friendly and, and being able to be quieter and start earlier and certain properties that require certain things like that and so on and so forth. So just think about all of those things. And yes, you have to plug it in. You have to remember to plug it in and charge it every night. Okay, some guys are outfitting their enclosed trailers with solar panels so they can plug it and charge it in their enclosed trailer make it even easier than plugging in at their shop or their storage you know unloading it from there and putting it in the shop or storage to plug it in i get it it's an extra step it is what it is but guess what you never run out of gas you know during the day i've done that plenty of times rant forgot to fill this up or top it off or double check it and ran out of gas or almost did or knew that i wouldn't have enough to finish and then have to stop and go get gas because i you know poor planning or whatever you know you get behind things happen you scramble and you forget stuff like that you never have to worry about this unless you forget to plug it in at night and charge it and then you might not last the whole day w with the charge so lots of pros and cons well lots of pros little cons but lots of food for thought is what i wanted to say so just wanted to tell you just wanted to bring this to you guys my perspective and see what you think this you know i'm i don't own this i didn't get this for free i'm not getting paid for this video i demoed this just like anybody else could this is from my distributor my toro distributor that dropped it off at my local dealer Kanabi outdoor power i'm about to give it back to them so that they can let someone else demo it and so on and so forth and keep hauling it around virginia to spread the word and give people you know a chance to try it out if you want to contact your local toro equipment dealer and see if you can set up a demo for the same thing and see what how you feel about it and get your own opinions but for those of you that can't or just want a, a preview sneak peek my feedback and thoughts there it is and compared to my 52 gasser same deck basically the same mower just one gas one battery which means a lot of things are changed on this to handle gas versus this all right, so it's the end of the day here. Time to charge her up. I have my surge protector here that's plugged into that light right there. You can get one of these outlets. You take the light bulb out and you put that outlet in there. Sorry about the shadow. And then you run the, the cord, have it strapped up there, it comes down. This is just temporary. Obviously, there's a whole you can do all kinds of stuff to set this up better. Like I'd probably have a shelf or something or whatever, mag magnetic hooks to have on here to hook that up here closer. There's like little loops there to hook in all that, same thing. So these things aren't necessarily on the ground, but it's just temporary just to try this out and, and do what we gotta do here. So that's the charger that comes with this mower. That's the converter, I think, or whatever, but basically, that plugs into your power source right here and then it has a separate plug right here that you actually plug into the mower right here pretty pretty substantial there you see it's flashing saying that it's it's powered on ready to go see there's a thing there this just lines up again one-handed goes in there boom click that makes a sound this should light up there we go 
and then that turns green. It was yellow before, and now it's green, flashing, telling you that it's charging. And just like a computer, the fan comes on and off to keep the, the converter cool. And that's it. Plug it in, leave it overnight. Should be good to go. We'll see what it's like in the morning. See what we got here. So, plugged it in last night. Let's see. Everything looks good. Green light's still blinking. It's not hot. Fan's working. Pull that out. See where we're at. Ooh, full battery. Couldn't see this last night, unfortunately. It seems like uh, at nighttime, the GoPro doesn't pick that up, but it was at three bars. I couldn't get it down less than that. I just need to get this charged so I could drop this back off. So uh, fully charged overnight, boom, ready to go.